To take another example for popular culture, another Peter, Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, is told by his uncle, with great power comes great responsibility. We also say it this way, to whom much has been given, from that one much shall be required. Those who are gifted are called not to hide their light under a bushel, but to show that light for the world to see. Now I'd like to take you on a little guided meditation again today. I invite you to get comfortable, close your eyes if you like, take a few deep breaths. I'm going to ask you to remember the last time you resented giving more of yourself than was fair. When was the last time you resented giving more of your time, more of your money, more of your love than the other person deserved? When was the last time? Think about it. And allow yourself for a moment to get a little angry. You were angry at the time, right? It can make us angry to give more than is fair. To give more than another one deserves. Hold on to that anger. Hold it before God. Admit to your God, for our God wants to know. It's okay to say to God, I'm angry that you ask this of me. Now I invite you to let go of that anger. Let it go. I invite you to imagine for a moment the persons or people you gifted. Imagine their face. Imagine their form. Imagine them. How was that person blessed? How were those people blessed? I want you to imagine them and the blessing that they receive from you. Now imagine for a moment that person. Imagine who is in the life of that person. Imagine that person's family. Imagine that person's friends, parents, children, co-workers. Imagine the cloud of love around that person. Who in that person's life? might have been subsequently blessed by your blessing. Envision for a moment the ripples of your blessing. The ripples of your giving. The ripples of your gifting. And take a moment to praise God. Take a moment to thank God. Take a moment to thank God for gifting our world through you. Thank God for using you to shower blessings on His creation. Let us turn our hearts to prayer. Great and mighty God, I thank you for drawing this congregation together today, just one of so many gathered around the world united in Christ. God, we each thank you for the times that you have required too much of us. We thank you for the times you have used us up in your service. For we know there is no better way to live than to spend all of ourselves for you. And we know that the measure we give will be the measure we get and still more will be given to us. Praise you this day, God. 